wow hey what's up youtube this your girl deidre here with another video for you guys and today we have a new box so we have and i and already opened the box so that's why i even got the little booklet i couldn't help it it's called exotic nudes like that's what that looks like and they don't really have a special box like it literally came in this box right here like just a regular mellow box but just to give a basic example, it's a noodle box. Oh my gosh, I love noodles. Ugh. And I have been curious about different types of noodles to try out versus the ones like I always get from the store. So I was like, yeah, this sounds like a good box. Plus, it will really help me out for like, you know, lunch, for work. And uh, yeah, let's, let's just get into it. So... It's $34.17 a month, at least the one I have. I got the highest one. This one has eight different noodles. There's two four noodles, four pack noodles, and I think there's one that's three. I can't exactly remember the prices of those because I'll definitely get better with this as you know we go on. <laughs> I just hope I do it. I'm just showing you honestly how much this one is. And this is worth it. It's honestly worth it. I think. If I can remember correctly, you get three for $19. Ugh, I'll, I'll do better next time because I'm going to have more details about this. This is how brand new this is. I only know a little bit. But first, let's go off this. So the first one, and you know what? I like the booklets. They come with um, illustrations of what it looks like and also about it. So the very first noodle that's in here is the one that i tried earlier and it's called hope i say it's right uh shampoo it should been chow mein i just know it's chow mein that's what that looks like and it says um yakashoba i know i'm butchering these names i'm sorry fried noodles is a is a dish often sold at festivals in japan but origins in china the dish was the the Deprived by the Chinese by Chinese from traditional chow mein, but has been more heavily integrated into Japanese cuisine like ramen. That's true. Even though soba, Japanese noodle made from ooh bucky, is part of, is part of the word uh, yakisoba noodles are not made from buckwheat, but are similar to ramen noodles from made from wheat flour. Oh, how nice. I do like that, you know, they talk about the noodles. This one was really good. Like, this didn't need no broth or anything. It Well, it's chow mein. Of course, it didn't need broth. But still, like, you didn't need broth for this. Like, I was actually shook. And then it came with, like, a little pack of seaweed in it. Like, yeah, it says with dry seaweed layered. I don't know if y'all can see that on the side. But that's what it say on the side right there. That, this was so good. Oh, my goodness. But let's, let's move on. <laughs> And uh, from the first time I read it, hold on, they really gave me a really big box here. This one is called uh, Indomine Instant Noodles. Uh, it says Special Chicken, and that's what this look. That's what that looks like. And I'm gonna take this with me to work. Like this is gonna be literally what I'm gonna eat to work. Like why not, right? Um, let's see. I can't, this is a lot to read. So, um, I'm gonna try to cut, I'm gonna try to, uh, give you the clip note version of it. Uh, let's see. Well, the best thing about this one in particular, one I just showed you is that it literally showed how, you know, you can make it taste better, you know, garnish with fresh vegetables, soft boiled egg, anything. So I, I love that they added that in there. So the next thing in here we have is, looks like by the same company actually, Indomai is instant cup noodles. This is uh, Magari fried noodles. God, I'm not saying these, these names right, but this is what it looks like. I've never seen these before. I cannot wait to try this. And this one says, um, goodness. I can't, I can't even read these all the way because I know I'm going to butcher all these names. But it basically is telling you the history of the noodle, where it came from, 
how you can garnish it, all of that. This is a good booklet to actually read if you're very curious about these noodles. So that's one noodle. Well, that's the third. Next one here, is, and I can't wait to try this one. This is Gum Tang Instant Noodle Soup Mix with Creamy Beef Bone Broth. That And that's what that looks like. That looks so good. I cannot wait to try this. But like, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm such a nerd. I want to follow like each of these noodles just to even see like, you know, just get kind of an experience. But I'm, I'm not going to choose that random and probably do that with the next up, next box. But I'm going to go by, you know, how they got it listed here. Because like, oh my God, I'm already impressed. Like, this is great. Let's see. Uh, that's, that's one, two, three, four. So I'm going on the fifth one, and let's see. It looks like po 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 Oh, this is Vietnamese noodles. Vietnamese style instant rice noodles. Beef flavored poi. Poi po. I cannot say these words right, but that's what that looks like if you could see that. Can you believe that? I didn't even know Vietnamese do the noodles thing, but I guess I should have known this kind of Asian culture of noodles, so it's like... Where's my mind with this, really? But yeah, I'm glad I'm trying like different cultures and, and it's not just Japan or Korea, it's Vietnam. Yay, v Vietnamese. Oh gosh. Oh, and this one I was curious about, like, oh, I, I look at the Try Guys like all the time. I love those guys, like totally subscribe to them, like for real. But um, Eugene always keep bringing up kimchi. And now I have it in noodle form. This is kimchi um, noodle soup. It says soup. Yeah, noodle soup. All right. And the seventh one is, and this one's really cute. I don't even know what this is. I, I heard the name Nessin. Nessin. I, I hope I say the brand name right. I remember seeing I, I, the, the logo looks familiar. That's, that's what I'm trying to say here. But it's so cute. Ooh, and it says with uh, sesame oil. Oh my god, this is cute. Look at this. You see that? I swear, they always have like the cutest little like mascot like people things ever. So let's see. Um, I wonder if it says any flavors. I think, I think it just says sesame seed. But like this one, at least how it's explained here. It, it looks like it's showing how to like how, how they used to cook it. So, you know. Not too many details of it, just the history, how you cook it, stuff like that. But this is also cute. I like how in the back of these, they do give you instructions on how to fix the noodles. I think this one has instructions. Oh, yep, yep, right there. Plus, English-speaking people is right there. And it's like, if you follow it to a T, like, it would taste so different. Like, I almost messed up with the first one and, like, just left some more water in there. But I was like, no. It's supposed to be chow mein like okay at least from that knowledge i knew like it's not supposed to be that much water so let me get to the last one this one i'm a little nervous about it's black and you know a lot of black like packaged stuff it means it's like super hot but this one is uh it says premium noodle soup shin black with beef bone broth so here's what that looks like don't look spicy. I hope it's not too, too spicy. I don't know why I take that. But this one, it, it, I guess it's premium. Because now they got, like, actual illustrations on how to cook it and all of that. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'm dropping everything. So, we get one, two, three. Four, uh, five, mm, six, seven, and yep, the eighth one is what I ate earlier. And yeah, that's it for this uh, box. I cannot wait to try the rest of these noodles. I'm very excited. I love noodles. This is a personal favorite of mine. If like you like noodles and you want to expand your palate with noodles, I definitely recommend this box. It will expose you to so many different like cultured noodles. Like I'm so excited to try this. 
and you know plus it helps if you are going to work and you need something to eat <laughs> so yeah that's it for this video guys thank you so so much for watching if you like this video slap that like button on um, while you're at it you might as well slap that subscribe button so you see more of me and some more new and favorite boxes till next time people bye stay safe wash your hands stay away from crowds if you're not trying to get sick bye <laughs>